this is Shannon with Poor Humanities, and we are like a good late, but we are here and just wanted to come on and speak with you guys tonight. Tonight, as you can see, uh, today's topic, let me make sure I've spelled that right, is a woman's health matters. And when we talk about a woman's health, we're going to be talking today um, to one of my I'll just call her my sister, friend, girl, daughter. Okay, so we're going to put it like that. So we are going to be talking um, to Hot Cat this evening, and hopefully she's still awake uh, because we are a little late. But again, today I am on Restream, and as you guys can see, I may not necessarily see all of your comments. But the first thing I definitely would want to um, announce to you guys, for those of you guys who are not aware of StreamYard, this is this handy dandy, this one, this handy dandy little platform that I'm using right here. And if you have not gotten your own StreamYard account, you want to go ahead and do so by, uh, of course, a long term time user. Uh, for a while, as long as they've kind of been around thanking Eileen Smith for introducing me to StreamYard and then, of course, dubbing it The Yard. So for those of you guys who don't know, this is StreamYard. It is AKA The Yard. So welcome to The Yard. So come on in. If you guys have not gotten your own StreamYard account, get one. They have all these wonderful perks. They're no longer in beta. So again, for those who didn't understand what beta, I just call it beta. You better check it. That's what it is. So that's what all it is to me. It's like, you know, a lot of, you know, testing going until, you know, you've proven and shown that the platform has sustained and held up. So it's in beta it's no longer. So it, it's mo beta right now. So that's what it is. That is what we're doing. So we definitely appreciate all the platforms that it has. It has a lot of perks, a lot of different things. Like right now you can go live on multiple platforms with the paid version. If you use this link right here, the yard, join the yard, you get $10 off your uh, subscription cost. Uh, it has where you can do intros and outros. You can do like covers and backdrops and all kinds of stuff. Hey, hi, Kat. Are you ready? Because I'm about to bring you on. Um, I need to connect. I'm going to send the link to your Facebook page. So for those of you guys who know, I'm about to uh, bring hi, Kat on. But, you know, I'll just kind of mess around with you guys for a while. Uh, let me go ahead and get her in here. Uh, but the one great thing about StreamYard is that there are a lot of perks that it has. Uh, it definitely... Okay, this is what gets on my nerves. So hold on for a second, you guys, while I uh, find my code, um, my access code as it is so that I can get into my Facebook page. So that's what you get for, you know, having all of these securities and everything, but that's okay because I make it so that people just can't go getting into my page three, seven, one, um, so that I don't have to worry about a whole lot of stuff. Um, oh, and now it wants me to put in a new password, which I don't want to do that, but hello, we'll just have to get it done. So there we go. So hopefully it'll let me in by now. And then hot cat, we're going to send you um, we're gonna. I'm gonna send you this this link. So let's see. Hold on. So we're gonna get you in here as soon as I can get you in here. So that's what we got going on. Facebook is. As they would say, Hot Cat would say, Facebook is petty. So here you go, Hot Cat. I'm about to send this message to your page or this link for StreamYard to your Facebook. So you should have it now. And you should go ahead and you can click in and come on in. 
and we will see you in a couple minutes. Um, and with that, I guess what I'm going to do is I'll put on my um, these earbud thingies so that just in case there's some feedback. Uh oh, hold on. Let me find the right thingy. Um, and then that it won't be a bunch of uh, feedback coming in. But again, the one thing about StreamYard that is really cool, you can um, utilize a lot of the, the background. So let me just show you guys a couple of them. This is an overlay. And the cool thing is that you can use an overlay. This is the StreamYard overlay. But if you wanted to create your own overlay, you can. And overlay is just something that overlays on top of your your broadcast, as you can see right here, like the name right here, it shows. Uh, you can do a different one like that. And if you were doing a podcast type where you just wanted to show your um, a picture of what you're doing, you could also do, <laughs> you could do this here. So it looks like, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, oh boy. So it looked like, you know, you're waving. So you got that. And then here, just another image. And then here, of course, is the Survive and Thrive. And, um, you know, you can just do a couple of things. The other great thing is uh, the backdrop. You can do what's called a background. And the background just will be there. So if you, once you move from one station to the next, you'll be able to have a background. So let me just show you. Okay. So yes, so that is the background. And those are some things that you can also do. Uh, if you had like the intros and outros, then you will be able to utilize that as well. So it's really cool. Um, you can have it where it shows and displays the names. The coolest thing is that when you go live, you can also download the audio or you can download both of or just the video. Uh, so you got some really cool options with this platform. Uh, that is great if you didn't know about it. So you may want to go ahead and get yourself a StreamYard account as soon as you can. You can also put your logo on there so you can remove the StreamYard logo once you decide you wanted to put one yourself um, or you can keep it, which I usually keep it on here all the time. So I think I don't even think I've really ever had it without it, even though I can, but I appreciate them so much for allowing uh, for being the sponsor for Survive and Thrive Cancer Recovery and allowing me to utilize the platform, which is great. So once again, for those of you guys who are not on StreamYard, here is that uh, link and you can go ahead and sign up and get yourself a StreamYard account. Um, and Hotcat, we done sent you the link already in your, uh, what you can send the other one. There is no other one. That's the one. What? What are we talking about? Send it to the other page. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you you already in there. So what? So you're trying to have my Facebook like, you know, like delete me out of my pages. That's what you're trying to do. Which one I'm sending it to? I only have one. What? Um, nope. OK, got it. OK, fine. Okay, how about that? There you go. So we found it, we sent it to the other one, and there you go. So we'll be waiting for Hot Cat pretty soon uh, to come in. 
and uh, we'll be able to talk with her this evening. And we're going to definitely look up the actual thing that we're going to be talking about so that you guys can, okay, here we go. We got hot cat coming in. So we have hot cat coming in right here. You are live with us. Hi, hot cat. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good evening. So how are you doing over there? Okay. Okay. So while Hot Cat figures out her screen, um, as we were talking about is StreamYard and letting you guys know that StreamYard is definitely what you want to do. And especially right now for the holidays, you can, buy. you know, yeah, you could buy it. <laughs> for the holidays, go ahead and get yourselves one. Okay, we're going to wait for you. So for those of you guys who have not been here, we got Hot Cat live here on live. Okay, okay. so she's on, on live. So she she ready right now. Okay. All right. So hello, Hot Cat. How are you doing? Fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. So we are definitely, it's good to have you here this evening. Um, now today, of course, for those of you guys who know, we are um, we are doing this is our Wednesday with Women in Alignment Wednesday, and if you haven't and never had been on, we uh, usually come on live and we talk about uh, definitely women and how women uh, definitely need, need to be sure that we're getting in alignment with ourselves, our bodies, our our us as individuals before we can even go out and help anybody. So before you can go and help someone else, you definitely need to in tune and find and, and you know fine tune what's going on with you first. So as we all know that women, we take on a lot of roles and a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> a lot of responsibilities. So what that means is that sometimes we'll put our health last. And some of you guys know, I've talked with you guys for the past four years, especially when I was uh, first diagnosed with breast cancer, that I had said that we, you really don't want to keep putting yourself and your, your health on the back burner. And you want to be sure that you're going and you're getting your, your annual checks, checkups, and you're checking out, you know, yourself so that as the older you get or, you know, seasons change, your body changes as well. So one of the things that I wanted to come on here and talk with you guys about today, and I wanted to have Hot Cat coming on because she wanted to be able to talk about just some things that she's experiencing. And I decided, I said, well, you know, this is probably something that others might want to talk about because it may be affecting other women and they probably don't know what and why is going on. So these are some of the things that we want to talk about tonight. So right now, um, for those of you guys, I'm going to let Hot Cat introduce herself and tell you guys more about who she is. So Hot Cat, go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, my name is Naya. Everybody call me. Everybody call me Hot Cat. Ooh, I'm a crafty girl. Anything I can do, I do it. So, we will know. So, today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, just some of the things that you had wanted to share. And uh, the first thing, again, we wanted to let people know what it is. And I, again, do not uh, play no doctors nowhere. But just looking at the fact of how sometimes women as in general will kind of put themselves last 
we want to be able to talk to people about what we're going to talk about today with which is polycystic ovarian syndrome as they would call it pcos and uh one of the things is just kind of going off of just information that you know we just kind of look up and find out more about is basically this is a hormonal disorder and it's common among women um, of reproductive age, but women just in general. And women with PCOS may have uh, in, inferior or prolonged menstrual periods or excessive uh, male hormones where either one, you know, you start growing hair in places that you didn't want it to be. And um, these are some things that women may not necessarily know that they're going through. And so what I wanted to do is have an opportunity to have this platform to share uh, because, you know, Hot Cat had wanted to share because, you know, she hadn't been feeling well. And um, when you don't necessarily go to the doctor at the time, you're kind of still maybe living through some of these things and you don't know. So for those of you women who are out there that may be per, uh, going through some of this where one, you probably have developed hair in places you really didn't want. Usually it's gonna be on your face. Um, if you have menstrual cycles that are a little abnormal or if it goes on and prolonged, and usually if you have bad cramping and things like that, that usually kind of has a lot to do with it or it's not regular. So Hot Cat wanted to share and come on and we can to just talk about it. Uh, we're not going to be uh, very long because again, yeah, so, uh, it's just an opportunity. Young girls have don't know they have it between like 13 mm. and 16. They're born with it, but they don't know they don't have it. Sometimes you lose weight, it might, your cycle might come off because you might be born with it and you don't know what it is to you uh, to find out what it is. And now you're going to the doctor for it. Right. Yep. So tell to... us, tell me uh, just, I guess, share just when did you start finding it something that you wanted to go to the doctor to do? What did you notice? It's been going on since I, when I started my cycle. Mm -hmm. At the time, I didn't know. You had some symptoms, but they ain't really showing, showing until you get older. I just, when did you start uh, finding it? Like three months ago, I had oh, no, symptoms, symptoms of the symptoms of so I went to the doctor. Uh -huh. She confirmed it. Yeah, I had it. So it gave me stuff. To, uh, she gave me papers to read up on it. Right. And, yeah, you birth control the pill just to help you out. <coughs> so now the birth control pills, did they explain exactly like why would they give you birth control pills? She gave me options for it to mm -hmm. help to help regulate the cycle. Right. But she told me I wasn't ovulating regularly. There are no opposed to have each month. So it must help me regulate to have cycles in a month instead of if I if I don't have cycle I don't have cycles about a year. I don't see my cycle in a year. Okay. I might see it a couple of days and I stop. So I'll do then I go start going hair machine. I have to do it. Wax it every Friday, every week. I get annoyed about it. So then I have pain every so often. She gets that kind of stuff. So I kind of looked right. it up, you know, what it was. You know how you look at some stuff, you have simple <coughs> symptoms for it. I kind of knew what it was, but didn't know what it was. Stuff like that. She's told me uh, it'd be hard for me to have to something like that. It'd be hard. So, can you hear me? Yep. 
Yes, it'd be, you say it'd be kind of hard to have kids. If you want to have kids, then it should kind of treat it, treat it, you know, if I want to have kids or not. That kind right. of stuff. Yep, I have you read, you know, the other thing can help me to eat right, <clears throat> exercise, lose some weight. It might help, you know, without doing the cycles and stuff. Yep. Well, looking at it, um, just in some of the medical journal thingies, and it says that, of course, that polycystic ovarian syndrome <clears throat> is a hormonal disorder that women produce higher than normal amounts of male yeah. hormones. You might say <clears throat> you might have type 2 diabetes. Okay. I don't have the you know, uh, high cholesterol. Some of the symptoms I have the person to my kid. And uh, my, uh, that's the risk of it. And I had that kind of a disease. Right. It's stuff like that. Well. <clears throat> what else? Okay. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. I'm trying to look where else on here. Well, <clears throat> looking at it, um, where as you said that you know it's imbalanced and makes you uh, your cycles are skipped. You, there's nothing. You know, it's not normal as a normal pattern, like monthly. Mm-hmm. And as you said, it would be hard to get pregnant. So if you wanted to, you know, have children, this would be one of those times where you want to regulate that. So that you be sure that you are, of course, going through your normal cycles of ovulating. Yep. So I I want ovulating. Right. And stuff. Then sometimes you have heavy periods, blood clots passing through, you know, different pain you have during the time of the month. You do have your cycle. Some days you don't. Sometimes. You had to have just have take pads with the disappear <clears throat> might pop slip on you. Cause you never know. Cause if I lose about five to ten pounds, I can start seeing my cycle sewing up. Because if I keep doing it, keep even right, uh be fine. I just okay. have to uh I just have to work on it, eat healthy, stuff like that. Right. Yep. So yes. no, that's definitely good. As you said, that sometimes a lot of women don't necessarily know what's going on. <clears throat> they just know that all of a sudden things are changing and they probably won't go to the doctor to find yeah. out more about it. Young know, girls go through it, but don't know what's going on. Right. And sometimes their mom tell them, there's nothing but you gain them, right? You're probably going to come back, you know, not knowing that might have you something from that. Sometimes we make things so dark and don't think so dark. So sometimes the folks cheers my go right of my not go out of it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um, the reason they don't know what caused it, the uh, PC or oh, yes. Ooh. And okay, so we had a special guest <laughs> coming. They said they don't know how they cause it. Well, they don't, what causes the soup? They don't know. Right. Then. What else is talking about? I don't know what cause. <clears throat> well, and, that's definitely a little out of the ordinary, not knowing exactly what caused it. But mm-hmm. the one thing that we can say is that a lot of women overall have probably experienced this. Hey, Coach Dave, but didn't hey, know hey. exactly that they were going through that. Mm-hmm. Um, and looking at it, it's definitely something that you want to pay attention to because as it shows here, 
that it can cause heart disease or, uh, as you said, diabetes. Yeah, sometimes you got to check on your young girls go through it. They got to check on it. You got to ask them how they feeling and stuff. How right. So you got to check on that. Take them to the doctor. Make sure that it was, it's not that or is it. You know how some girls be big for the age. You don't know what's going with their body. It's right. Like, Right. So for those of you guys who are coming in right now, thank you guys for coming. It's uh, me and Hot Cat. Today is Wednesday, and we're talking about Women in Alignment Wednesday. And first things, of course, is getting in alignment with your body and your health. Women health matters. So we're looking at it from that point of view that women's health matter. And this is just something that we're talking about since, you know, yes, it is the holidays and we're going to be trying to eat up everything we could find. Um, we we want to keep that in mind and realize that, you know, you got to keep your health straight and you got to keep yourself. And it, the, it, <clears throat> September is the month of the, I had found that out about it. Oh, okay. It, they, the color is teal color. Wow. So it sounds like some t-shirts. Yep. <clears throat> it's the, what is it? P-C-O-S month of September. Yeah. Cystic, cystic yeah. ovarian um, thing. What is it? Yeah. yeah, cystic ovarian syndrome. Yeah. Yeah, cystic ovarian. So basically where you have developed cysts on your ovaries that is causing problems because they shouldn't be there yeah. in the first place. So <clears throat> looking at a little bit more of what they were saying about it is that um, not only can it, uh, the risk factors are. Um, yeah. You could have some cases, you could have acne, in and right. hair, uh -huh. weight gain, darkness of the skin, of the skin tag of the system. Wow. Know, they're coming, you know, in, in regular cycles. Right. Those right. Are the signs of, of the PCO. Yeah. Yeah. So for those of you guys who are here, thank you guys for for popping in. And again, we're just talking with Hot Cat here, Naya, <laughs> and we're talking about um, just something that she had wanted to share that she, you know, wasn't feeling very well. And then going to the doctor and finding out that she has cystic ovarian syndrome, which is known as PCOS. And again, it is a hormonal disorder that women produce a high than normal amounts of male hormones. And it develops these cysts on your ovaries, which is definitely something you want to keep track of because it, it has the cause of your cycles not being regular and then the side effects or the risk factors of heart, you know, heart disease and definitely uh, yep. diabetes. Yeah. yeah, she tested me all day, but <clears throat> I came good with that. Okay. Yes. Well, that's I saw, good. <laughs> I saw the, the, the list had a uh, eat right. The need to work on it. My poor dad food kids. Right. So I can lead them tricks slow. So now what are some of the things that you're, you know, you're practicing and things that you're going to be doing? Uh, lead them drink slow. Start exam, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you do right. Stop going to the park and walk. Right. Then kind of stuff. Try not to eat good tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> definitely. Probably, you know, just cutting back on some stuff. Yep. And drinking more water. Yes. The one doing drinking water. Because that that helps. So we have some guests. We have Roberta Townsell. We got Sharon Nixon. We got Jacqueline McKeever, who is over here on Facebook. Hey, y'all. Hello, hey, y'all. <clears throat> hey, she's not bad. 
Yeah, because we can't see. That's what I'm saying. You can't see them. Hi, you guys. Hi. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, again, right now we're talking with Hot Cat. We're just doing an interview and we're talking about um, cystic ovarian syndrome. And for those of you guys who know anything about it, or maybe this is something that you have been dealing with before and you just didn't know. So it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, PCOS is a hormonal disorder that women who produce high than normal amounts of male hormones. Hi, Kat actually shared that one of the side effects you were talking about, the thinning of hair. Can you talk a little bit more about that but from what you know? Yeah. I can. I know that brain know <clears throat> that causes it. The thin the hair and yeah, hold on. Okay, yeah. You know, I got little ball spots and stuff like that. If I ain't know <laughs> exactly the cause, I think that has something to do with stuff like that. Right. There's a <laughs> and and the uh see my weight goes ups and down. Pen that I know is it my weight picks back up. That kind of stuff. Right. Then uh I always know it had I do have dark skin color. Like right up here, like right mm -hmm. here. That's I be having. They ain't know it's that too. Right. With the other stuff being, I know it's the hair going on my chin and stuff. But she did, uh, gave me some cream for it to help make it stop the hair from going back so fast. Right. It costs about, it must cost about <clears throat> some, two hundred some dollars. It's like, yeah, <laughs> real. You say two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. You no, know, I had to find some coupons to get down from your two hundred. Coupons? Yeah. How you find some coupons for it? I know I like I researched for it. Really? Uh -huh. I went to Walmart. I got okay. down from one twenty. So the stuff we really have. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. It was a cream I use for twice a day. The more than the evening. Wow. To keep the hair from going back so fast. Right. Yep. Yep. And that's it. So and if anybody know. got some uh some homemade <laughs> remedies that yeah. she can get that can cut that down from that hundred and something dollars with coupons, uh that can definitely cut back on, you know, hormonal because again, it's a hormonal imbalance. So Again, as we all know, we got XY chromosomes, so we all have male hormones in there anyway. Um, hi, Tina. I miss you. How are you doing? Um, Tina, my cousin. So I don't know if we know that yet, but I'm sure we, rel we relate it. But <clears throat> the thing is, is that if you are having and you have that thing where there's a male hormone, these are things that's going to happen. Some of us have a little bit more you know, X chromosomes than Y chromosomes. So we have to kind of keep that in, in check and realize what's going on with our bodies that can cause some of these things to be happening like that. So uh, for those of you guys who are just coming in we're talking with Hot Cat, uh, we are also talking and sharing about um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. <clears throat> And you said what again? Do it. How you do cause mood changes and stuff. Okay. So also it it causes mood changes. So well, that explains that. Explains it. I don't, <laughs> know. <laughs> it I don't have much for that. While you be talking about the neighbors and you know just they knows it so. Oh God. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So the point of the matter tonight is definitely for women is, you know, keeping yourself in alignment Thank with your you. body because and with things that you need. Say that again. The thing is that causes the acne. I don't have acne. Uh-huh. That's the one problem. That's a good thing I don't have. Don't right. 
Oh, hey, Acne is still. Yep. <coughs> yep. So, is there anything else you'd like to share? No, I'm good. Yeah, you know, you're good. So, if you guys have any questions, <coughs> you can go ahead and ask them. I'm uh, kind of got you guys on Facebook on my phone. Right now, we are streaming to uh, multiple platforms this evening. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitch. And for those of you guys who are on Twitch, I hear you guys are doing big things over there. So we'll be probably, you know, checking y'all out a little bit more. But <clears throat> right now and tonight, we're talking with Naya, and she is sharing just some information she wanted to share about health and about your health and finding out that she was diagnosed with PCOS, which is polycystic <clears throat> ovarian syndrome. So for those of you guys who may who know someone who may have been diagnosed and just didn't know it, um, again, the side effects, as it says, it's a hormonal disorder that women produce higher than normal amounts of male hormones. Um, it is common for among women who are at productive age. Uh, the hormone is imbalanced that makes you skip your menstrual periods and have um, hard to get pregnant. <clears throat> and some of the other things of it is that having body hair or facial hair, baldness, if not treated in time, it may cause some long-term diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. <clears throat> so um, Hot Cat wanted to come and share. And what suggestions would you give to those who may think my, maybe something is going on? <clears throat> I'll see your doctor and see what's going on. So make sure what Eddie uh, talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctor. Make sure that's it. What's going on with your body and stuff. Because I kind of knew, but I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the doctor and kind of confirmed it, what it is. So you treat it. I'm treating it. Take right. one day at a time. So I'm good. I'm nice. Yep. Right. <clears throat> so as she said, is definitely take your health serious. A woman's health matters. Um, and that's just what today's topic is about, is a woman's health matters. So we have to kind of keep those things in mind and understand that when you notice something that is out of the ordinary, you definitely want to go to the doctor and follow up. Don't wait, you know, don't keep waiting because what app happens is one week turns into two weeks and then two weeks turns into a month. And uh, each month that you're waiting is a month too long. So you don't want to wait. That goes with anything that's going on with your health. Sometimes we, we know something is not quite right and we're feeling a little uncomfortable, but we don't want to go because we don't want to hear what the doctor says. We don't want to hear what they're saying the diagnosis is because sometimes what happens is that we start feeling some kind of way because we know we should have went and we knew something wasn't right. So what happens is that we don't want to know, hi, Jacqueline. We don't want to know or hear what it is that they're saying, so we'll avoid it and we'll go into avoidance. We you want don't want to go into avoidance. Hi, Cat. What would you uh, definitely urge someone who is feeling a little afraid of going to the doctor and they feel something? What would you have for them for that? Take a buddy system, bitch. Take somebody which have a buddy system. Right. Don't be. Don't be brave. Be brave. I say I always take a. Uh, I had took my mother with me, so. Yeah. Cause he asked, that's the thing. He asked two questions. I already don't know. I asked her. She asked me anybody having some had cancer, cancer or whatever. I already didn't know. Right. My mama asked. She asked. She said, "Well, yeah, kind of. Her grandma had some cancer, breast, some kind of cancer." Mm -hmm. It went, it wasn't hereditary, but you know, she didn't know what was going on. She bought me stuff. 
So I didn't really too much know about that. She, she said something about right. Learn your uh, hell, your family never can get you. So right. I look, see what's going on with your body and stuff. Yeah, that's actually a really uh, interesting topic that you said that. And of course, you know, it's not Monday, but I got a bright idea Monday going on right now is something that we really all should take the time to consider is writing down. Talk to as many relatives as you can, as you can to find out what health factors or health risk that has been um, affected in your family, because it's really good to know. Because again, for generations to come, this would be something that you could um, definitely have. And that will be a, definitely some good, good information because it you know that years and years down the line, two or three, four generations from now, we're not going to be here. So, you know, let's just keep that in mind. Um, we're not going to be here. And it would be really great to have that information on hand for the family as a whole, because it's just the same as a lineage book where you keep track of all the family members that was in, the, in your family as far back as you can go and finding out any health factors that has been in your family so that the next generations to come will be able to know exactly who was uncle who was, you know, auntie, who was grandpa, who was grandma, what went on with them during the times in their lives to keep track of. So this is probably something uh, me and Latina might put together. Uh, again, she don't know that I'm putting her in this, but she my cousin. <laughs> I really think so. So we definitely need to uh, track this and develop something that will make available for others to be able to use. So um, so that's something that is definitely of importance and it's it definitely sounds like a good idea. So as we talk in tonight again, A Woman's Health Matters is this segment for tonight. Uh, and we just wanted to let you guys know that your health matters are all of our health matters. And we wanna keep that in mind because again, reproductive processes are necessary for humankind and for humanity. So um, I thank all of you guys for coming and being here with us this evening. Um, you guys have a, a wonderful evening. Hot Cat, is there anything you would like to end and share with any, everybody before we go? Have Thanksgiving, my red Yep. <laughs> yes, happy Thanksgiving. We are ready to eat and um, definitely wanna be sure that you guys are staying healthy and happy at the same time. So exactly. you have to say what did she miss? What did she miss? Yep. You missed everything. No, <laughs> no, you got the, the gist of it. That's what it is. We're talking about your health and we're talking about those jobs that keep us on lockdown. And um, we got to keep our health in alignment. So we were sharing a little bit about um, PCOS. Again, this is polycystic ovarian syndrome is the P, C, O, and the S. So polycystic ovarian syndrome, which again, as we know, it's um, cysts that can be on the ovaries that is produced by a higher than normal amounts of male hormones, um, androgenins, um, it is common uh, among women in reproductive ages that the hormone imbalance makes you yep. skip or miss or have irregular cycles. It's and not, um, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Right. And as she said, you could be young. You could be young as 12. Let's just at least, well, probably younger. But yeah. if reproductive, the minute you start your cycle, that's when you can have it. Yeah, most took a cheer, you know, make sure you're okay. So you put back with, see, make sure they don't have it. If they do have it, they can treat it near earth forward. So, right. So they don't want to have to go through all the uh, changes. The sign that you're embarrassed about the hair on the chin and stuff, whatever they're going through. You know. 
Yeah, you girl, girl, I mean, going through like a, uh, it's going through like tantrum and moody. You just want to, right? Yeah, you gotta watch out, watch they had a sack of war, stuff like that. Make sure you write down stuff like that. If they do start it, listen that period, some legs. That's the time you take them to the doctor to see what you want to know with their bodies and stuff. Right. Yep. The thing is, that's what's going on. Now. The doctor might treat them or something. They might, they might not put them on both control pills. So right. You have to look in it. She gave me a lot of options on the birth control pill. Mm -hmm. Say one birth control, this is shark. But it's for making you gain weight, you say, oh, nah, I'll skip that one. Right. It's another one. It's you could insert you. Now she could put it in, insert you. I said, no, nah, I'd rather take the uh, pill. Then the other uh, three options she asked me. So I kind of, uh, I kind of did a little research on Burger to feel the side mm -hmm. No, I just started taking them. Yeah, I have little headaches and stuff. It's normal with the uh, pills and stuff. You know, they have a little upset stomach, but that uh, a couple days I uh, got over it and stuff. Right. Yeah. So from what I know is that birth control pills, they it's kind of like where it will shrink the 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 tumor or the cyst rather. And that's one of the reasons why they will give people those um, birth control pills during well, that. I think some have kind of tumor or something like that. I ain't for sure. I still got to look. So I had a lot of crystals, this is the stuff on the over, over the stuff. Yeah. And sometimes they go from dogs might move the uh sister stuff around the over the stuff. Right. Like that. Yep. You have any matter any questions? So if anybody have any questions or not, or just looking at the fact that, you know, if you feel that this is something that might be uh, that you're going through, you definitely want to go to the doctor and get yourself checked uh, to be sure that you're not having these um, these issues because, as it said, it, it can lead to a little bit some more serious side effects and other risk factors that you definitely don't want to have happen. So, um, again, for those of you guys who are here, thank you guys over there on uh, Periscope. And uh, for those of you guys who are going to catch this replay, Share this and find out, find out more, take your health seriously. Be sure that you understand that a woman's health matters, all health matters, but you definitely want to know because today is W of Wednesday, Women in Alignment. And we have Hot Cat here who is deciding she wanted to share a little bit about just some things that she was going through and how she just wanted to bring more awareness. And Hot Cat, you said that the the month that this particular polycystic ovarian uh, syndrome is talked about is during what month is that again? September. September. The color is teal. Uh, C P C O S. Then they got a Facebook group for it. Oh. Okay. Everybody, supposed to everybody has support for it, right? No. I ain't really too much hear about it because nobody really don't talk about it. So right. I'm talk about it, don't so talk about it. So they don't know what's going on. You know, you think by yourself, but not by yourself. Right. Stuff like that. No, that's true. 
So, yeah. So we thank you guys for coming again and, you know, keep your health at the forefront. Uh, be sure that if you feel something, if you're not having a regular cycle or if you're noticing loss of hair or thinning of hair or hair growing on your face and in places that normally oh. wasn't there before. That's why I made. Oh, that's a cake. What kind of cake is that? Strawberry punch cake. Oh, strawberry cake. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, yes. So, if you guys didn't notice, uh, I had a post that showed Jody baked cakes. Because she was showing her eggnog because she was going to make that rum cake. I already know what that was all about. She was just like teasing me about that cake because she knows she makes these. She is the best rum cake baker. And she had showed the eggnog because that's what she puts in it. And it's like so good. Um, so again, Jody baked cakes, Jody baked cakes. She's usually baking cakes around this time. Uh, you said, what is the crunch made of? Uh, strawberry mm, cookies. What? Strawberry and cookies? What type of cookies? Uh, shortbread. Oh, shortbread cookies? Oh, you saw that eggnog, Jacqueline? Yes. Jody baked cake. She's up there tagging me with that eggnog because she know I know what she's about to make with that. And it's so good. She, I'm telling you, you guys got to have this rum cake. This, her rum cake is just really, really great. And I haven't had it in over four years. So, but I still remember it. I do. I remember that cake. Very good and moist, very moist. And then she puts like whipped cream on top of it when you garnish it. She has this whipped cream on it and it just makes it taste even better. And it's usually warm and the rum is just there. And see, I don't drink, but I could taste that rum. And it's like just really, really good. So what is that you're smelling in a book, I have? Perfume? Um, what's that perfume called? Lancome. Yeah. Lancome perfume. I don't like smell it. Oh, la vie est à Lea. Lancome. Lele. Something. We need Sass to, to uh, say that for us. She'll say it real fast. Lily left also something. <laughs> Sass, where you at? She'll start speaking some Moulin Rouge <laughs> for us. Oh, that's funny. So we thank all of you guys. Yes. You said that's good. Yes. La vie. Yeah. If she'll start speaking French. Parlez-vous français. <laughs> That's when she'll start singing. And she'll just say it real fast. And it's like, what? She just said that way too fast. And it was just way too easy for her. Julia Roberts does the commercial. Okay, yeah, she does. It's very good. Is it? You, you know what it smells like? See, I don't know what it smells like. I heard those Oh, like you that. have some. Jacqueline says she has some of that. I don't have none of that. But that's okay. If you guys are looking to uh, get your Mary Kay life, you want to talk with, uh, oh, it's S. Belle. S. Belle. It's uh, easy to say. Oh, is it? S. S. Belle. 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 Something like that. You have it? Oh, okay. She has it. Jacqueline says she has some of that. Ooh, fancy. Well, you know, hey. Oh, ha. Huh. Hot cat said you fancy. That's okay. I don't know why my Facebook isn't working. It's like none of the um, things are going. So I don't even see all the Jack and Lynn's messages. She said, I was into perfume at one time. Oh, okay. She was a perfume connoisseur. So she was all into that. So 
Jacqueline has some wonderful, wonderful Mary Kay. For those of you guys who have not noticed, you can go to her page and get yourself a bundle of joy. So go to Jacqueline's page and get yourself a bundle of joy and you guys can go and find that out. Only buy gift sets. Yes, if you are looking for some gift sets, you can get gift sets because those will give you the biggest bang for your buck. So you want to get a gift set right now so that you can send it to your family. Jacqueline has that for you guys so she can put up her link so she could tell you guys where to go and um, you can get that. And she has the best skincare that's out there, right there with her. So go to her link that she's gonna pop up like in like 3.5 seconds and uh, you can find more because you know that whole Friday sale is coming and then Monday is that cyber thing. So if you're not getting your products online in some kind of way and getting the really best deals this is your opportunity to do so. Um, between now and tomorrow, I'll probably put up some sales, but you guys already know you can get four for 40 over here. Okay, four for 40, you can get four for 40 tees. All you got to do is put 2020 tees in the promo code and go to fundraising for good and put 2020 tees in the promo code. You can pick whatever four you like and uh, you can go ahead and get that. So, hi, Kat. Definitely thank you for coming on here out of one in a million times of being here live, taking yeah. all this time where you are sitting might here. <laughs> she said she might not do it again. Yes. That's so crazy. She said, I only buy gift sets. Oh, the best skin out there. So yes, Lancome. Yes, Lancome Paris, as they called it. But as you guys know, Survive and Thrive is going to Paris. We're going to Paris sometime soon. So you can find her on Facebook as Jacqueline Sanders, Independent Sales Rep for Mary Kay. So again, that is on Facebook under Jacqueline Sanders, independent sales rep for Mary Kay. Go and get your bundles because she has some wonderful packages over there. You need to have more women health focused scopes. Yes, we do. So every Women in Alignment Wednesday, of course, we'll be doing that as long as we have someone who would love to come and share and talk about just some of the things that women are dealing with that sometimes we don't talk about. So as it says, Women's Health Matters. This is our segment of Women's Health Matters. So um, for those of you guys who are here and you're going to be looking to get gifts for women, you can go to Jacqueline Sanders page. She is an independent sales rep for Mary Kay. She has some wonderful items there and uh, she would definitely be happy to help you and uh, get those packages out for the holidays, for uh, for Christmas. We still got some time, but right now is the time where you're gonna get all of your great deals. And this is where you wanna get them or just things that are not at a great deal, but they're good and you just wanna buy them. I so we're not like, sure. Now I think I'm sure, but I'm not. <laughs> well, you look short. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh... The, the past. It's like I'm short, but I'm not. You said your computer is sitting way up high, like on the wall. No, it's on the screen. Oh, I'm not sure. You look like I'm short, but I'm not. Yeah, I think Hot Cat is actually taller than I am. That's okay. I'm five six. Okay, fine. Then. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I'm five seven. Are you taller than me? <laughs> no, I'm not five seven. That's okay. So thank you guys for coming. Hot cat, thank you for sharing. Again, go, you know, for those of us who are here, go to the doctor, find out if you are having these symptoms. Polycystic cystic ovarian syndrome is very real. I also have some stuff in the background. 
You said you got some what? I'm trying to have some stuff in the background. <laughs> oh, okay. You're hiding stuff in the background. <laughs> Come on, room missing. Oh. I'm five, six, uh, Jackie. Oh, you five, six? Mm -hmm. Which one is it? I'm five, six. Oh. <laughs> So yes, yeah. so thank you guys for coming. Again, a Women's Health Matter segment. This is segment one of, of many to come. So a Women's Health Matters, our first segment where we had our first interviewee with Hot Cat uh, was able to come and share just some things that she wanted to share about polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, to get let you guys know a little bit again if you are having uh, struggles with your cycles and it's not normal, or you're having thinning of hair, or maybe hair growing on your face, or you know, you moody. just don't feel well. Moody, as she says. Moody all the time. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not moody. Mm. Some stuff it annoys me, but it ain't moody. Oh, okay. That's what you call it? <laughs> yeah. Some okay. annoy me. Right. She's annoyed, not moody. Yep. Yep. Right. The ex really. <laughs> yes. Okay. You'll be some stupid question. It annoys me. <laughs> oh, right. She's okay. not moody, though. <laughs> so, anyway, we are, we definitely are glad that you are uh, back up and moving around. So, just a couple of days, you weren't feeling so good because you weren't on the broadcast for like three days. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, coming back to the show. So, tell us about that. Okay. It was some, uh, <laughs> it was, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I can't think of the name of the pill. Uh, add some some anabolics. Okay. I so did you have the flu? Nah, the anabolic she gave me. Oh, okay. I supposed to uh take in the morning, the evening. I really, I believe I didn't take it right. Oh. So I was just with my son. Uh huh. I said, I said, ugh, ugh. I think I smell. Like oh. So, yeah, oh. It's past three days. Huh. It may be sick. That so, kind of sounds like it was like some like premature or some like imitation morning sickness. That's a uh, that's a uh uh. If so I had like two days left to take it, I stopped mm -hmm. taking it, it made me sick. There was a word. I said, it's a I smell from maybe uh -huh. gag. Right. And, uh, uh uh. So my mom was like, uh uh, I ain't taking this no more. Oh. I said, I'll stop. Then I felt dumb. Right. I said, uh uh, not today. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, no, that's not good. <laughs> then I would, that was money. I'm making some bacon. <laughs> then they did work. I had bacon in the oven, right? Oh. I was pouring the grease out of the pan. Uh -huh. I was making fail. fail. So, shoot, I'm going to put this mud back in the oven to kill the germ. So, I would grab it. My hip, I said, dog, this is my hip. So, you know what Did happened? you fall? No, I was bending over. Get the uh, bacon. Oh. I just bend over and pick stuff up. Yeah. There was. So, wow. I, you know, I heard myself picking up bike. <laughs> that is something interesting. Yes. Yeah, so she hurt her hip picking up bacon. That's some craziness. So anyway, don't get caught picking up bacon <laughs> off the floor. You might hurt yourself. It was good though, so. <laughs> Like yeah, I, I could imagine. So who, anyway, else, who else can eat? Yes, 
So we're going to get going. We thank you guys for coming. This is part two of Women's Health, of Women's Health Matters. Uh, this is our first segment with Hot Cat uh, sharing polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, and just letting you guys know that if you are having any of those symptoms where your menstrual cycles are not normal, you're developing hair on your face, sort of like where it's an over over a production of male hormones yes. that's causing these things. You see, you kind of bears the bad. Right. And that's not good. We have to do something about that. So I wax the every with it in the hair. Right. Yep. Yes. And so for those of you guys who are dermatologists or you guys are herbologists. See, my record doctor said you met the wrong with you just know them. Really? Oh, well, then I went to her. Started talking about it. The sister, she said, uh, "That's what you have." I said, "Ain't that so?" Wow. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Where you can go from one doctor to the next doctor, and one says one thing, and another one says another thing. I mean, they both are doctors, but you say, they just... it, it, it wrong. You get just your hormone, whatever. You say ain't nothing wrong with it. so I did. Something going now. I just told him about uh next appointment just to go see the guys of college to see what's going on. And she asked me all the questions just all the signs of PC, you know, yeah, do the world. Just something. Yeah. So I just had to work on it. Right. So as they had said to you, some of the things that you can do to sort of uh, offset it or to, you know, sort of help you out is what, again? Exercise, lose weight, don't eat, fatty food, sugar, that kind of stuff. Just kind of stay right. away from me, eat more healthy. It helps, helps with the, uh, helps with it. Right. Uh, then you lose weight, you must start seeing your period come back. All that kept mm -hmm. have been right. Uh, yeah, I'm working on this right. Uh, water. Yes, more water is always important. Uh, that we should definitely drink more water. Everybody has their own um it body water intake. I mean, you know, oh. throw some, infuse some oranges in it. It's it's well, they can say it's treatable. Well, right. the birth control she gave me post that helped me out, help regulate it. Cycle. Mm -hmm. It's you, it must help regulate the cycle, help, help, whatever. Uh, it, she said, help with the uh, clotting stuff I'd be having. Okay. Yeah, so cool. it's a blood it's like a blood thinner. It it like it's working a, like a blood oh, thinner. Sorry. Something like it's supposed to help with your cycles to make it right. more normal. Right. Because cloudy. I be, it's a phone go through different stuff. Different. Right. It uh it some folk go through Different pain at it cycles going. Uh -huh. Some you have it, some not have it. Depends how how you feel it. Something like that. Right. It's good. Like it's still still like saying it's some of the functions of it. So I just had to uh work work on it and stuff right. like that. I just had to keep reading on it and stuff. What I need to do. Uh, I need to my goal is probably let me do five pounds. Okay. At five pounds, I might try to, my goal is make this go ten pounds. Lose right. Weight. This, this is the, you start doing that, I'll probably feel better. Move that kind of stuff. Right. 
Yeah, some things that for those who have difficulties losing weight, definitely looking at some of the things in your diet that you can remove, such as breads and um, sugars, sugar definitely sugar. sugar drinks. You could probably start there and just replace that with water and more natural sugars, which are good. Orange, not orange juice, actually orange juice and all that, unless you're going to squeeze that orange juice yourself. Um, OK, but even orange juice out of the store is still filled with a lot of extra sugar that they don't necessarily show you in that orange juice. So um, definitely just kind of getting water and infusing it with oranges and lemons and other fruits that just kind of, you know, and no one's sitting here saying it's going to taste like fruit punch because it's not, but it's definitely going to be better than, I guess, a little bit more fancy than just drinking plain water for those of you guys who find water just not to be as exciting. I'm like, put you in a desert with the camels or something and some lizards. You'll wish you had some cold water. Um, yeah, I anyway. guess you, I just be wanting, but the, uh, the girls go through it or not. They all right. never talk about it and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They probably do, they probably don't. You don't never know. So she said, I told her when I started, I was like 13, she said, yeah, that's probably what it is. I kind of did know the high school mm -hmm. by my cycle. Don't come on. Like, I thought I I maybe I gained a few pounds. Then, uh, I never noticed it. You, know, you don't notice stuff, but you start to notice stuff like that. Right. Yeah, after the year, that's what doubt. I think that would be a uh, bound no for sure. See uh nah. I really know this stuff. Right. And I finally went to went to the doctor for it. That would be Yep. So I got the uh work on it. The, all right. that stuff. So for those of you guys who are out there, any of you guys are in the health profession, you would definitely have more information on this. Um, we definitely appreciate you guys all being here, here on Facebook and on Periscope. We're talking tonight with Hot Cat, A Woman's Health Matters. And keeping in mind, if you are diagnosed with polycystic uh, ovarian syndrome, you definitely uh, want to go and get uh, seek medical attention so that it doesn't lead into more serious uh, side effects or health issues such as heart disease and diabetes. You definitely want to keep your weight under control and eat healthy so that your system can be regulated. There are different things that they can treat you with. And of course, you can check with your doctor to see what is available and how that's done. I would prefer a natural treatment. So it's really about I'm sure consuming things that can regulate those types of over reproductive uh, processes of hormones that we all have, of course, in us, but can be regulated a little bit better. So again, tonight is uh, Wednesday, Women in Alignment Wednesday in a Woman's Health Matters, our first segment today, talking with Hotcat and we look forward to more as we have already gotten our first request to have more uh, women's health focus scopes. So thank you guys uh, for being here and you guys have a wonderful evening. Definitely happy Thanksgiving uh, and pre Thanksgiving for those of you guys who are celebrating and eating. And for those who don't, this is a definitely a day for you to relax such as myself and to be able to get some work done because I got a lot of stuff to do. So bye, you guys. We thank you guys. Take care of yourself and keep your health at the forefront. Talk to you guys later.